Welcome to the third video in our series on pediatric pharmacology. Lidocaine is used to treat VF or pulseless VT, wide complex tachycardia, and rapid sequence intubation. Side effects include seizures, headaches, dizziness, blurred vision, hypotension, cardiac arrest, difficult breathing, nausea, vomiting, rash, and edema. The lidocaine dosage for pulseless VT, VF, and complex tachycardia is 1 mg per kilogram via IV or IO with an initial loading bolus and 20 to 50 micrograms per kilogram per minute via IV or IO infusion for maintenance. For rapid sequence intubation, the dose is 1 to 2 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route. Magnesium sulfate is indicated to treat torsade de pont, asthma, and hypomagnesemia. Side effects include confusion, sedation, respiratory depression, low blood pressure, bradycardia, nausea, vomiting, cramps, reddening of the skin, and sweating. The dosage for asthma is 25 to 50 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route with a slower infusion of 15 to 30 minutes. The dosage for torsade is 25 to 50 mg per kilogram via IV or IO bolus. For hypomagnesemia, give a dose of 25 to 50 mg per kilogram via IV or IO route over 10 to 20 minutes. Methylprednisolone is a drug indicated for asthma and anaphylactic shock. Side effects may be depression, headache, hypertension, embolism, bleeding, diarrhea, nausea, fractures, hyperglycemia, and ulcers. A loading dose of 2 mg per kilogram via IV, IO, or IM route with a max dose of 80 mg can be administered. And for a maintenance dose, 0.5 mg per kilogram via IV every 6 hours or 1 mg per kilogram every 12 hours. Nitroglycerin can be used to treat congestive heart failure and cardiogenic shock. Side effects experienced may be headache, dizziness, hypoxemia, tachycardia, cardiac arrest, loss of consciousness, skin redness or pale skin, and sweating. Nitroglycerin is given in a dose of 0.25 to 0.5 micrograms per kilogram per minute via IV or IO infusion and it can be increased to 0.5 to 1 micrograms per kilogram per minute every 3 to 5 minutes as needed for a maximum dose of 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Treat hypotensive shock with norepinephrine and take note of the side effects which include headache, anxiety, respiratory distress, hypertension, tachycardia, renal failure, and arrhythmias. Norepinephrine is given in a dose of 0.1 to 2 micrograms per kilogram per minute via IV or IO infusion. Oxygen administration is indicated for hypoxia, respiratory distress or failure, shock, trauma, cardiopulmonary failure, and cardiac arrest. Side effects are headache, dry mucous membranes, airway obstruction, and gastric distension. 100% oxygen should initially be administered via a high-flow oxygen delivery system. Procainamide is used to treat supraventricular tachycardia, ventricular tachycardia with pulse, and atrial flutter. Side effects include headache, dizziness, hypotension, a prolonged QT interval, cardiac arrest, nausea, diarrhea, rash, reddening of the skin, systemic lupus syndrome, and anemia. 
15 milligrams per kilogram via IV or IO load over 30 to 60 minutes is the proper dosage. The final medication we'll look at is sodium nitroprusside, which is indicated for cardiogenic shock and hypertension. Side effects of this drug may include seizures, headache, nausea, hypothyroidism, and cyanide toxicity. For children over 88 pounds, administer 1 to 8 micrograms per kilogram per minute via IV or IO route. And for children under 88 pounds, administer 0.1 to 5 micrograms per kilogram per minute via IV or IO route, not exceeding 10 micrograms per kilogram for every 10 minutes. This was a section on pediatric pharmacology. Congratulations, you have now completed the Pediatric Advanced Life Support online course. Please proceed to the quiz when you are ready.